Still today, with much of the attention focused on Lansing, Detroit City Council also took a crucial vote today. Yeah, an important day as well. Members approving a controversial contract, hoping to spare the city from getting an emergency financial manager. The Action News reporter Smitha Kolopi is live downtown. Smitha Council recently rejected a similar contract. What changed today? Well, Dave, we're talking about the Miller Canfield contract, and first of all, they have agreed to lower their fees and also at the same time reduce their scope. But here's what's happened more importantly. There is now a 30-day financial review of the city's finances. That is looming over everybody's head, and that could lead to an emergency manager. Hey, I'll sort of know. Despite that resounding no, the city council narrowly agreed to a legal services contract with Miller Canfield, the same firm the council turned down just a few weeks ago over concerns of a conflict of interest. Sometimes you have to hold your nose and vote, and that's how I voted on Miller Canfield. Council President Charles Pugh changed his vote to support the measure, saying it ultimately was best for the city. That's because it's one of the milestones outlined by the state in a consent agreement which the city must achieve to receive $30 million in escrow money. It's a no-brainer. I voted for it, what, three weeks ago. Many in the audience disagreed, including this woman who laid on the floor refusing to be escorted out after a public outburst. She was eventually allowed to stay. Others urged the council to fight the use of a consent agreement. Agreement. They say it's not binding since voters struck down Public Act 4, also known as the Emergency Manager Law, in November. Go to court and show this mayor how to lead to get our money. You can okay. do it as a collective. But a sense of urgency is looming. A state-initiated 30-day financial review will start this week and could result in an emergency financial manager. If we don't do it ourselves, somebody else is come, going to come in here and do it for us. And we were voted in by the citizens uh, to represent them. And we've got to do a better job of doing that. But even today's moves won't stave off impending layoffs. 500 positions are still expected to be eliminated next year, beginning in March. At the end of the day, that's the problem. We are spending more cash than we are taking in. We have got to figure out a way to address and fix that. That's what's key to avoiding an emergency manager. Now, the state treasury tells me that it is preparing to release $10 million from that escrow account since the November milestones were just met. But first, it needs a request from the city to do so. And as of late this uh, afternoon and early this evening, it has not received that request. From D downtown Detroit, Smitha Kaloki, 7 Action News.